Good morning. How are you? I hope that you had a really good night. I heard from most of you and until kind of late into the evening. So I'm glad that you were all very serious about counting and doing all of the work that you needed to do. Um, I hope, like I said, that you had a really good time with your family. I just want to give a couple shout outs. First of all, I think that you all did a wonderful job. You know, I always think that you did a wonderful job. Um, Micah, Micaiah, thanks so much for doing your work pretty late into the night. I'm sure that's when you've got to turn with the computers. So I completely and totally appreciate that. Uh, Khalid did all of the exercises on the gross motor uh, shout, or, uh, choice board and he did such a great job. They were fantastic and I forget that we're not in school together. So I really shout out to his brother too, who had to teach him the rules to red light, green light. So he did a great job. They looked amazing. The videos looked amazing. Um, and I love the way, so Evelyn, I, I do know that you are definitely going to be a scientist because your family does scientific experiments whenever they have extra time. So the sinker float, genius. Genius. So I just want you to know that I do actually read and watch all of those videos. I always pay attention to whatever activities that you're doing. I try to make comments on at least one of your activities per day. So I really do love and appreciate you. You're doing a great job on Seesaw. Love it. Those five little monkeys are geniuses. That's all I'm saying. All right, here we go. Good morning, apple lovers. So notice I didn't use any alliteration, did I? Apple and lovers don't start with the same sound. They don't have rhyme. Like I didn't use any of that. I just called you apple lovers because that's what we're doing right now, right? Apples. And you guys obviously love them. Dustin came yesterday to morning meeting with his apples all ready to go. Now he prefers them peeled. So we'll see what you say later on today, but I would like you to give me an example of something um, that you love about apples. Today is Tuesday. So we already went through Monday. You already did all of that work on Seesaw. Great job. And today is Tuesday. So of course there will be two activities up on Seesaw today other than the gross motor choice board. That's also, uh, that also will stay up. You can go back and check that. I think I put it for every day. I'm not really sure. I'll look on there after, um, after I'm done recording this and then see if it's on there or not. What is your favorite type of apple? Hmm. So we're, we're, if you listen later on to the story, the story's called Apples Apples and it is all different types of apples and it's actually the science remember I like to give you the story with the science background in it but I have three here today so this one is the Granny Smith this is the one in the book she talks about how it's really good for apple pies because it's a little bit tart and it stays nice and firm um, it doesn't go it doesn't um, get gooey when it's cooked so that's a Granny Smith this is a red delicious. This is usually what you guys think of as apples. These are always what they give out at school. Um, this is a red delicious apple. This happens to be my favorite because it is delicious. Hmm. What does that word mean? What does the word delicious mean? I want you to think about it. And when we come on at nine o'clock, I want you to tell me what the word delicious means. And in the book, there's also the word nutritious. Who do you, what do you think that means? It does not mean the same thing as delicious. Trust me, devil dogs are delicious, but not nutritious. And then sometimes things are nutritious because they have a lot of vitamins and they're good for you, but they're not necessarily delicious. Unless you know how to cook really well, which we all know I do not. No, I wish I was a really good cook, but I'm not a really good cook. All right, so what's your favorite type of apple? So this one was the red delicious. Now. In the rhyme that we're going to do this week, it actually talks about pink apples, but there's no such thing as an actual pink apple. It'll be some kind of combination apple, so, so it looks pink. So this is actually a combination of like a yellow apple and a red apple, which is why it appears pink. But there are also yellow delicious apples, but is this it? No, 
because you know what was not at my store? A yellow delicious half bowl. That was not at the Acme in Woodstown, just in case you need to know. Um, but there are yellow delicious apples, which are really yellow and they look like this. So I'm gonna check the shop right today and if they have yellow delicious apples, I will show one to you tomorrow. Um, but there are other combinations and different types of apples. If you listen to the story, it gives you all different kinds. Um, when you pop on at 11, we will be talking about those and you can tell me what your favorite type of apple is and we're gonna be charting that, okay? What can you make with apples? So this is a really good just thinking question. What can you make with apples? I'm gonna tell you because I love sweet stuff. I wish I didn't, but I don't. Um, that my favorite thing is apple pie. In fact, pie is my favorite, one of my very favorite foods. Like I like it better than cake. Um, apple pie. So that's one thing that you could make. Yesterday, um, Evelyn in our talk said that she is going to make candy apples, that that's one fall activity that she would like to do. Candy apples. So let me know if you've ever had one of those. I don't know that I've ever eaten a whole one. My um, son's girlfriend, Brie, made these like flat ones with like, they were chocolate covered with caramel. Uh, they were they were amazing. She is actually a really good cook. I am not a really good cook, but she is a really good cook. Um, so she made, she made these like flat ones that were like slices. I don't know that I've ever actually eaten it a whole candy apple or a whole caramel apple, but they are something that you can make with apples. So think about it. Jump on nine o'clock. What you can make with apples or what's your favorite like apple treat or like we were talking about yesterday, nothing is better than some apple slices and peanut butter. Oh, fantastic. Delicious and nutritious. Both of them. Find out what those words mean. Count the apples. Okay, so here we go. We're going to count these apples. Phantom count. I'm going to phantom count. You're going to actually count and come on with the answer. So you're going to come on. What is your favorite type of apple? What can you make with apples? Count the apples. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. That's a, that's a number we haven't written in a long time on seesaw counting activity today. And rhyme, more rhyme. I didn't put up rhyme today, we did rhyme yesterday, which by the way, again, another shout out, Evelyn, at bat, cat, rat, fabulous, fabulous. Um, so the number, which favorite apple? What can, what can you make with the apple? Count the apples, okay? All right, next activity. I'm gonna tilt you down. And look what I have here. I have three different kinds of apples. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna cut them open so that we can see what they look like. Okay, let me move my pumpkins. There we go. All right, so we're gonna see if they look different on the inside than they do on the outside. So this one is the Granny Smith. This is a Red Delicious, and to be honest, I don't think this is a Macintosh. This is some other kind of apple. I will look in the book, and at nine o'clock, I'll tell you what kind of apple this is. But it is on, it's it's one, obviously, that was from North America. That's that's the kind of apples that they gave us. So we're going to look and see. So now, it also in the book, it, it's very clear that inside apples, the main part in the middle right here is called the core. And so that's the part that you don't eat, right? So if you have one of those slicers that goes whoosh, and sh which mine is at school. But if you have one of those slicers, um, it takes the core out. It has the, that circle around the middle and it takes the core out. But we don't, we don't need that, nor do we have it right this second. So I'm gonna cut these open in a couple different ways to show you a couple different things. So when you, um, when you cut open an apple, if you cut it this way, it will show you the seeds in the core. And that's what I'm gonna do with this one. Worse, I didn't cut far enough. Again, not a very good cook. Okay, so if you slice it this way, so apples are nice and fleshy, but you'll see this is the core right here and it holds the seeds. See that? Also makes a very beautiful starfish print. 
So if I painted this and put it flat on a piece of paper, it makes a starfish print. I'm creative, I just can't cook. Um, but see, there's the core. So here are the seeds, they're, they're digging out of here. And this is what it looks like inside. It's nice and fleshy inside. So this one I'm gonna cut so that you can see. So that's, so obviously this was red on the outside, but on the inside it looks like this. So let's see if the green one, the Granny Smith apple looks the same on the inside. Look at that. So it does, right? But I'm gonna tell you that if you tasted the red one and the, the Granny Smith apple, the green one, they look, they will taste completely different. Red, the red one is fairly sweet. And this one is very tart. Like if you, you would make the tart face, you know what I'm talking about? When you go like this, when something's really tart, that's this one. And then let's see if this yellow one looks the same on the inside too. What do you think? You think it looks the same? This one's, yeah, this one's a little more golden. See that? This one's a little whiter on the inside. This is a little more golden on the inside. I don't really know what this one tastes like, but I'm going to bite it for you. Mm, it's pretty sweet. It tastes a little more like a red delicious apple. To do a little taste testing yourself, check it out. Have have mom or a grown-up helper cut uh, apples on the inside. Now, are we going to use the, a knife by ourselves? Mm -mm. 